This is a log of what's happening to me today. Um, whatever today's day is. March whatever. Um, I've been doing my praying today with the intention of merging. Of course, my Kundalini begins to move, it begins to widen, it begins to undulate. And if you saw the presentation last night. I gave a picture of what this feels like. So today I've been having all sorts of alignments. <laughs> oh my God. Um, my back begins to vibrate. And I knew this was the way to create from a soul essence, a deep spiritual essence of, of a something. So if you ever seen the Taurus, T-O-R-U-S, it's this turning within itself forever motion, energy, forever turning within itself, right? So this is the rise of the Kundalini from the bottom of the spine um, to the top of the head. And coincidence, no, alignment today, I'm looking for an exact something. And I couldn't find it, so I gave up. So I decided I want to go find something on Swamji's website. And then I see out of a lot of videos that Swamji's done, interviews from people all over the world. My mind, my eye saw Center of Light Swamji interview, and I knew it was one I did with him. So I just clicked on it. <laughs> when I clicked on it, it landed on time marker 108, which is nine. More of this 369 stuff, which is nine. And it was a video of Swamji and I doing the interview. And it's still around time marker 109, 108. One and eight is nine. And this started a whole bunch of different things moving, a bunch of moving parts like coming. Um, I had so much. Let me see if I can remember all this. I feel like he's consuming me, really. That's, how, that's the only word that makes sense to me. I'm knowing things. They're validating themselves. So as my back begins to <clears throat> pulse, I decided to call the elements of the earth, well, the elements of the universe, earth, water, fire, air, space. Join me, through me, bring about Swamji's infinite wealth. Om Sri Saddam Guru Devadatta. I do that three times. And so, but I knew when this pulsation would begin to happen, if you saw the motion as it turns within itself, I would u literally use my lower back to squeeze with pressure. Your intuition will tell you how hard, or sometimes you might want to increase or decrease. I just need to squeeze my creation through the top of my head like a fountain, like squeezing a tube or something, and water just shoots out, right? So I get into this motion, and I begin to know things. And I know this is correct. So when I got to the video about Swamji, I didn't learn this per se from Swamji, this technique I'm doing, though I somehow did. See, that's how these masters work. They'll put you in conundrums that you're not going to figure out for years. I'm the one that did the interview with him, so I know what he said. But of course, that was five, whatever, six years ago. So I don't remember what he said. And all of a sudden, this Kundalini energy phase of my life happens. And so if you watched the video from last night, I talked talked about how I just thought that I came up with this. <laughs> of, well, Keith, it's stuck in your subconscious mind. Well, what is the subconscious mind? Is that not a reservoir for God or what? So I started to describe to the audience, not because something I've been practicing because someone taught me this method. I just knew if my energy's doing this and it's backed by the force, the life force of the universe. I got to drop a seed in that well, in the ground right there. Full of fire, full of power, full of intention. And with the elements supporting me in this. And I, I started charging up. My hand began to glow. And I can, I can literally feel it and make these light energy balls and send them out. And then, <laughs> this is all day long. This is the short version. So I contact Anjana to say, I like, you know, while some things are transpiring, she goes, I'd love to talk about it. So in my downtime, I'm doing some computer stuff that's updating and stuff. 
I started doing this Kundalini creation with the two snakes that Swampy talks about and all that. And so I do this meditation of 369, the elements, earth, water, fire, air, space. And I would do them in sequence of threes, sixes, and nines. On Sri Sairam, Guru Devadatta, three. On Sri Sairam, Guru Devadatta, six. On Sri Sairam, Guru Devadatta, nine. Take a breath. Push it all up. Into creation. <laughs> then I'd say elements. I'd announce their name again. Earth, water, fire, air, space. Through me, together, we're going to manifest here and now in avalanches of abundance. Swanji's infinite wealth. Om Sri Sada, I'm good today. <laughs> and I keep doing this process. And I became this sentient ball of conscious energy, of knowing how the masters create. When I say create, it sounds like they're always in a function of trying to create something because they're masters. That is sort of the way, but the real way is not, they're not trying to create anything. It's just in the being of that glory is the story I'm after. So how do you get that lasting happiness and how do you isn't that and how do you get that internal happiness? How do you define it? Good, good, very and can good, you define very, 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 very good question. That is that is that is the question from the intellectual mind. <laughs> how do you get happiness? Suppose take a lady, woman. She is, when she is pregnant, she is suffering a lot with vomiting sensation, uneasiness and when after completing the nine months also with uh, labor pains, she suffers. But she is feeling very happy. He, he, she is bearing that suffering with patience. For what purpose? I have, I have to give birth to a child from my body, from my womb, from having my blood and flesh. I have to give birth to a to that love. Through love only we can make our mind happy. So that's why mind and the heart have connection. There is a connection, whether you believe it or not, accept it or not, there is a connection between heart and mind. If we mix and match heart and mind, so if we want peace in the mind, we have to fill the heart with love. A mother is um, suffering a lot for the children, for the progress of the children. And both, both the mother and father are also working and suffering a lot. For the children. Why? Because they are loving them. If I want them to <coughs> suffer like that, to sacrifice for other persons, they are not ready. Are you ready? <laughs> you are going and you are taking your uh, husband to this doctor and that doctor and that doctor. If I ask uh, the, that lady is suffering a lot, go and... No, 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 I have urgent work. <laughs> I, that is the answer for your question. And according to Hindu Sanatana philosophy also, Dharma Sanatharma also, Anando Brahma. Anando. This is the essence of spirituality. God is no anywhere. Everywhere God is. God is everywhere. And God is, we have to realize the God in ourselves. We have to make the mind peaceful. Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Visuddhi, Ajna, Jnana, Anand Chakra is here. Anand Chakra is in the brain. Backbone from the end of the backbone, Muladhara, Koper, 
Swadhishtana between navel and mm -hmm. Muladhara. Swadhishtana. At the navel, Manipura. Here, Anahata. Vocal card, Vishuddhi. Here, between two eyebrows, Vajna. These are all centers for the five elements of the earth. We are also having the five elements. The body is Panchabhutatmaka. So, if we focus through mental focus or physical focus, if we split these centers, the power is enlightening, coming like a fountain. And touching here, here, this part, this part, two parts, this is Shiva and this is Shakti, right side of the brain, Shiva, left side of the brain, Shakti. Right side controls the left part, left side controls the right part of the body, according to the medical science also. So, if we, we have to <coughs> enlighten, make the Kundalini to go step by step upwards, and capturing, then we are commanding, Ajna commanding, then we are getting intelligence, Jnanam, then we are getting, entering this, mixing and merging, Shiva and Shakti, this is Kharaim, this is Shreem, Kharaim Shreem, then with the mixing and merging of Shiva and Parvati, who is coming? Subramanya. Subramanya means snake power, that is Kundalini. That practical science is your body, Deho Devale Prakta. Deho Devale Prakta. And body is the temple of the Lord and heart is the altar of the Lord. So, that, then, after realizing this, you become Ananda Swarupa, Brahma. God.